let's take a look at what happens when we integrate even and odd functions. And let's start with even functions. Recall that an even function is one such that if we plug in negative x for x, we simply get the same function back. So f of negative x equals f of x. Sometimes it's easier to visualize these graphically. An even function would line up perfectly with itself if you folded over the y-axis, essentially. So really nice symmetry here, something like this. Right? And of course, my drawing is not perfect, but you get the idea. Right? If, we, if we fold this down on top of itself, these would more or less line up. And of course, a, a perfect function would uh, line up perfectly. As far as integration is concerned, we want to look at a very specific case of going from negative a up to a. And we want to look at the area between the function and the x-axis in these regions defined from negative a to a. So we can think of this as a1 over here, perhaps, and maybe a2 over here. And then note that the total area under the function from negative a to positive a is simply a1 plus a2. But since a1 equals a2, we could also think of this as 2 times the area uh, a2. And just forget about a1 altogether. So this tells us that if we take the integral from negative a to a of f of x dx, and, and f of x is even, well, then that's the same thing as taking twice the integral from 0 to a of f of x dx. And that's a super useful feature of even functions, especially because a lot of the functions that we work with in mathematics are waves and various trigonometric functions. We see even and odd functions often, and it's good to simplify working with these as much as possible and note that when you take the integral, it's much easier to plug in zero than it is to plug in negative a. So this simplifies things substantially. Let's take a look at odd functions. Recall that when you plug in negative x to an odd function, you get negative f of x. So f of negative x equals negative f of x. Again, it helps to think of this graphically. A standard odd function might look something like this. Kind of goes down and then comes back up like so. Something like that. Not perfect, but you get the idea. f of x. And again, we want to look at this, in our case, from negative a to a. And again, we're talking about integration, so we want to look at the area between this function and the x-axis in this range defined by negative a to a. But remember, the area above the x-axis is positive, and the area below the x-axis is negative, and these two, since it's an odd function, these two areas are exactly the same. Just one is positive and one is negative. Thus, for an odd function, we can say that the integral from negative a up to a of f of x dx is always going to be zero for odd functions. So talk about simplifying things. For any odd function, the integral from negative a to a of f of x dx is zero. It doesn't get much simpler than that when it comes to simplifying. So this is a really useful property.